hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to look a multi-threaded application there we are going to uh, implement uh, how we can uh, implement uh, using multi-threaded like bus reservation system and that's the very famous example uh, as per the interview point of view as well as if you relate with the, some real uh, world example as well right so let me explain you uh, here already i have pro created this project and i have created the i mean uh, uh, all files which is needed to explain this project so uh, let us consider an example where we have a travel website like redbus.com uh, through which we can book bus tickets right now there are only three tickets left and two people are trying to book the ticket at the same time right and everyone wants to book the two tickets right both the person wants to book the two tickets and but there are only three tickets has been left so only one will be able to proceed and other will fail right if you consider in both the cases the trouble arises when different threads try to work on the same data at same time to avoid this problem the code synchronization uh, should be implemented which restricts uh, multiple threads to work on the same code at the same time now let us see a sample demo of code without thread safety so here uh, you can see I have a created a project and here we haven't used any kind of uh, thread safety right uh, let me explain you this project first of all so we have a two packages bus reservation client and bus reservation system in bus reservation system I have a ticket counter class in this ticket counter available tickets I have assigned as a three uh, in real scenario you uh, you might need to read this count from the somewhere from the database but uh, for simplicity so to make this demos uh, shorter I have just assigned a counter as three so available seats are three right now we have a method is called book ticket and there uh, we are passing passenger name as well as number of seats uh, which passenger wants to book and here inside the if condition I am checking number of available seats greater than equal to number of seats as well as number of seats which passenger wants to book greater than zero then I go inside and here I am printing a high passenger name number of seats seats booked successfully and after printing this message uh, I am deducting number of seats which passenger wants to book from the available tickets right and this condition gets false means available ticket is less than number of seats av available seats then as block will print uh, seats not available with passenger name right so that's very pretty simple example now next class we have a uh, is called uh, ticket booking thread that uh, that is a basically thread class which extends thread class and here I have overridden uh, run method and here from run method before that uh, I have declared three private instance variable one is the ticket counter which just I have shown you reference of ticket counter then passenger name and number of seats to book by the passenger and all these three variables I have initialized uh, just I have uh, uh, initialized in the constructor itself right and uh, here I am using uh, this reference to call book ticket by passing the passenger name and number of tickets to be booked by the passenger right so it's pretty straightforward now finally I have a client program there I have created, created a shared resource that is in case our case that is ticket counter this resource I'm gonna share with two threads now I have created one uh, object of ticket counter then I have created two thread right so this class basically extends thread so I have created thread t1 and t2 right I'm passing the same object I'm sharing the same object with these two threads and here I'm passing the thread name as John and Martin and number of seats both wants to book two seats right and just I have started these two threads and let's see what happens and uh, here you can see in ticket counter there is 
only three tickets has been left. Now if I run this project, then saying that uh, hi Martin two seats booked successfully. Hi John two seats booked successfully. This is not possible, right? Why this kind of unexpected result we are getting? The reason is that uh, here both threads are uh, sharing the same uh, reference, right? And using so every object has a single count, uh, single log in Java, but uh, and both uh, using this reference basically we are calling this method right from here right both threads is calling this method but this method is not synchronized right so there is no meaning of lock until unless your method is not synchronized uh, object locks does not comes into the picture right so both threads are entering at the same time in this method and both finds number of sets is greater than number of books and, uh, reason, uh, and because of that both threads are able to book the ticket so how we can restrict it by uh, providing a synchronized keyword so we'll make uh, this method as synchronized now uh, object lock will come into the picture once your method gets synchronized then one object locks gets into the picture now if you start both threads over here whoever threads will get the first chance to uh, enter into this synchronized method right then other thread has to wait right until this first thread do not complete this method execution now once uh, suppose uh, suppose here we are starting uh, John and Martin there are two uh, basically threads let's let me run and show you so now you can see we are getting the expected results now saying that hi John two seat two seats booked successfully means this is the first thread T1 whose name is John John get first chance to execute this piece of code which is inside the synchronized method now now first thread once first thre thread enters into this synchronized method once that thread completes execution of this method then thread 2 that is nothing but the martin will get chance to enter into this method right at that time uh, at that time john will find this uh, john will find number of uh, seats available is only one right so again for every uh, thread uh, basically that checks this uh, available tickets then ticket at the time when second thread enters into this uh, synchronized method then number of seats would be one and that's why this condition gets failed right saying the number of available tickets is one one greater than equal to two that gets false so that's what you are getting this message so in that way basically we can we can protect our shared shared uh, variable right so basically more than one thread is uh, doing some kind of write operation on this shared variable and uh, wherever you are doing the write operation basically that code has to be synchronized so that you can protect a state of object and uh, you can uh, you can overcome from the, some kind of race condition as well so that's all i wanted to share in this video tutorial I hope you enjoyed learning this video. This code I am going to check in on the GitHub and GitHub location you may get in the video description part itself. So guys if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please share and subscribe my YouTube channel as well. So guys big thank you and see you next video tutorial.